Shivani Saxena and welcome to my channel S for Shivani. If you have clicked on this video, I am damn sure you have some free time in your hand and you are wondering what you can do to utilize this free time effectively. Whether you are going to join your graduation college or your post graduation college or a workplace, I am going to tell you certain things which you can follow to upskill yourself and build your personal brand. Like this video and subscribe to my channel because soon I'm going to come live on my YouTube and only the subscribers of the channel will have access to that live video. For some of the workshops related to career management or personal branding, I will even have some closed live events. So make sure that you have subscribed to my channel to not miss any of these updates. So the first thing that you can do in this time is explore your area of interest. Soon after the college begins, you will get busy in a plethora of activities and you won't have time to self-introspect. And now when you actually have time, make sure you do that to do a SWOT analysis of yourself, analyze your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats in your life and then decide what you want to pursue in your future. In your college, you might have to choose a minor or a specific specialization to go ahead and study. Regarding jobs, if you are applying, you need to make sure that whatever field you are entering is your area of interest so that you do not regret going to job daily and, you know, blame the Mondays. So just think, do you like marketing or finance? or human resources or operations or, or management in general. Where do you see yourself working or rather what you think you will enjoy pursuing in your career? Use this time to introspect. A very good way to do this which I personally followed in my life is that I read a lot about marketing. So in my class 9th and 10th I had a subject called commerce in which specifically whatever chapters were on marketing I discovered I had a special love for uh, those chapters and that is how I decided to read more about marketing. I read a lot of books, I read a lot of blogs also which told me that if I pursue marketing, this is the career ladder for me and then I decided that yes, this is satisfactory and this is something that I can really take up. So invest your time in brainstorming about what career you want to pursue read more about it, gain a lot of knowledge about it and then make a wise choice. The second thing which I say is brush up the basics of all subjects. So for MBA, if I take an example, you can go to the website of your college. Every website has a section called academic curriculum. In that you will have a list of all the subjects that you are going to study over these two years or one year if it is an executive MBA. Now, out of these subjects, you do a SWOT and find out what subjects could be your strength and what subjects could be your weaknesses. So if I take my example, and this is true for all the commerce students especially, we find a lot of trouble studying operations and supply chain management in MBA. For engineers, these tough subjects are financial accounting and management accounting and cost accounting and everything about finance and accounting. So if you belong to these backgrounds, make sure that you use this time to brush up your basic skills. You can do so by referring some YouTube videos or downloading e-PDFs of some of the books that are easily available online. Number three, read books. To be honest, I was someone who had never studied anything outside the curriculum. And I had made up my mind that this summer, in, in the time between my joining and when the college is closed, I would utilize this time to develop this new habit of reading. Do you know that all the CXOs of the companies have one common habit, which is reading books? So till now, in, in this uh, entire two months time, I have read some 10 books. Uh, you can go to my LinkedIn account and search the hashtag my quest with literature to find all the book reviews that I have written. So I would want to share with you a list of books that I had prepared and uh, trust me these are books for the beginners just like me. These are short books with easy language, simply written, no hard jargons and um, if you are a beginner definitely try these out. So the genre of these books is management because I feel that college or workplace is the time when you need to build 
in yourself certain skills like leadership teamwork creativity entrepreneurship negotiation initiative and so on and for all these topics there are a variety of management books written so the first one is ikigai by garcia and rels i hope the pronunciation is right corporate anarchy by radha krishnan pele the mouse charmers by anuradha goyal the seven habits of highly effective people by stephen covey tough times never laugh tough people do by robert scholar animal farm by george orwell good to great by jim collins how will you measure your life by clayton christensen what they don't teach you at harvard business school by mark mccormack and 0 to 1 by blake masters and peter thiel so my personal favorite of all the books that i have just said is seven habits of highly effective people i found that very insightful and and right now when we are experiencing a paradigm shift in the context of where we are living or where we are going to work i feel that this book and the habits that it speaks of are very relevant and everyone should adopt that number 4 so this is for those this is for the older me who had really hard time reading the books So I suggest that if you cannot read a book because of your commitment issues or lack of focus then do a certification course. There are a lot of self-paced learning certification courses available online. Make your account on sites like edX, Coursera, Udemy, Skillshare. A very new platform which I am using right now is LinkedIn Learning. So LinkedIn gives you 1 month free subscription to LinkedIn Learning. which you can use to do some courses and maybe you know if you really like it then you can go for the paid one but i have registered and i'm making sure that i whatever courses i have to do i will do this in the free month itself now some some of the tips that i'm going to tell you is don't do a course just for a certificate certificates are a great cv pointers but do a course which is relevant to you For example, it doesn't make any sense for me, a commerce graduate, to do a course on coding unless and until my job requires me to do that. When you are going to register for a course, have a thorough look at the syllabus of the course. So you can study whatever topics you are going to be covered in that particular course, and then take a decision if you want to pursue it or not. So there is a separate video on my channel on the kind of courses that you can go before your college starts. You can have a look at my list. This is this list is not exhaustive, but these are some of the important topics that every MBA or every graduate should know. And these certifications are going to give you skills which are very much required in 2020 and onwards. Number five, learn a new software. So I feel there are two softwares which you should actually befriend them and be best friends with them. and know about them inside out and these softwares are excel and powerpoint in excel you should know how to create basic charts and graphs how to create a pivot table use important functions like sum count average median mode v lookup h lookup regression and sentiment analysis to name a few You can find videos on some of these tips and tricks of Excel and PowerPoint on my channel. In PowerPoint, you should know how to work with slides, how to use animations effectively, how to turn your slides into video because in your college, you need to make a lot of videos for your presentations and similarly for office, you need to make videos whether for training purpose or presentation in a meeting to your boss. Number 6. Focus on the soft skills. So while hard skills are required for you to show on your CV and get a short listing the soft skills are the one which are going to differentiate you from the crowd so focus on soft skills like your communication your body language uh negotiation and conflict management teamwork leadership entrepreneurship email etiquette basically you have to write a lot of emails when it comes to work and even in college so make sure that you know how the email should start how you should sound polite throughout the email even if it is a complaint and now i think of growing relevance is linkedin etiquette as well 
So when you are approaching someone on LinkedIn in the form of a message or commenting on their post, there is a certain way to go about it. So make sure that you are very observant and you are learning all these skills as well. For seeing your communication skills, I think the best way is make a video like I am making right now and then you will yourself find some of the things which you don't even realize you do. So for example, when I get stuck while speaking, I start looking up. So that is now how you should be looking and this I found out while making my YouTube videos. Number seven, create your brand. So brand is no longer a term which is associated with products or services or celebrities for example. You are your own brand. You are the sum total of your personality, your attitude, your behavior, your knowledge, your skills and whatever you have done in life till now. And that is reflective of what you stand as a brand. Get active on social media. Make an account on LinkedIn and show your professional side. Make an account on Instagram and use that to exhibit your hobbies or whatever you do in your leisure time. Delete all the content from social media which can portray you in a negative light. So make sure that your social media account is free of all. And number eight is create a resume. So if you are a fresher right out of school, you might not have many things to write on your resume. If you are someone who is going from graduation to post-graduation, still you might not have many things to write on your resume and that has happened with all of us. And so that is why the time that you have in your hand is very important. Start working on your CV, download any template available online or create your own I'd say because then that way you can customize it as per your needs and you don't have to strict and you don't have to start with the boundaries of someone else's resume. See how far it goes on the page and then that gap is what you have to fill. So plan what you're going to do in your free time to fill that entire gap. I'm soon planning a workshop on resume making and how to write a cover letter. If you are interested then subscribe to my channel because these will be in the form of live events which only my subscribers will have access to. Now let me end the video with a task for you. Take a sheet of blank paper and make two points on that. One is the starting point and second is the end point. And let's call it a mission XYZ where replace XYZ with whatever you want to become. For example, I want to be the marketing head. So I'll call it mission marketing head. Now at the start point, mention all the skills which you currently possess. So create a checklist of that. At the end point, you have to write whatever skills a marketing manager should possess. For this, you can, um, you can easily open a job description on Nokia.com or LinkedIn or Monster or any other site. See what skills or someone as high in hierarchy as a marketing manager should have. List down those skills. Now, match whatever you presently have with whatever you want to achieve. This is the gap that you have to fill. And you know it would be a good idea to stick this paper somewhere where you sit to study or work or somewhere near your laptop so that you are constantly reminded to and you know you are constantly motivated to work towards your goal. So that is it for this video. I hope you got something, some homework to do in your free time. All the best for your journey ahead. And if you feel that I should make a video on something else also, then do mention that in the comment section.